Dr. Kale, is it true that neurofeedback improves neuroplasticity in the brain? The answer, of course, is yes, it does improve neuroplasticity. In fact, that's what neurofeedback is all about. Most brains that come into our practice have been sort of shut down, right? They're locked down, might be a better word. Communication between major areas in the brain are sort of locked in unhealthy patterns and a variety of factors have created some constriction where the brain's intentions, desires, its outcomes, what it's seeking does not line up with what the client wants. The brain seems to be creating more uh, anxiety, more dis-ease, more depression, more sleep issues, and the client just wants to sleep and feel better and thrive. So the brain's objectives and the individual's objectives are often not lined up together. So neurofeedback very gently over time in a very organic, natural way, simply rewards a brain as it moves into a, a healthier and more functional brainwave pattern. There's nothing forced upon the brain. There's nothing, uh, no electrical impulses put into the brain, which is why there are no side effects, very few side effects with neurofeedback. So we're rewarding the brain as it naturally discovers increment by increment, teeny increment by increment over time, as it discovers that healthier, more functional brainwave pattern. When this happens, neural pathways change, biochemistry, the real structure and organization of the brain changes. We know that neuroplasticity uh, changes with neurofeedback, partly because there are images of this which have been captured as neurons actually reach out and expand during neurofeedback sessions. But more importantly, at the end of training, for kids, for example, many kids gain 15 to 20 IQ points, and adults are able to focus and function better. Their cognitive skills improve. They are able to filter out uh, things that they couldn't filter out before. They feel better, they function better, they do better at work. All sorts of data prove and point to neuroplasticity, neuroplastic changes in the brain. So the bottom line is yes, that's what neurofeedback is all about. I'm happy to answer more questions if you have them. This is one in a series of questions about neurofeedback. You'll see a link below to some of those other questions. But if you want to speak with me personally, you can call our offices at the number listed, or you can fill out a form on our website and choose a time that works for you. I look forward to speaking with you again. It's Dr. Randy Kale. Take care now.